Caden Quapple is the 2023 Pro Late Model Champion. Carson Quapple will come around and win his second consecutive Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour Championship. I know as a father from my standpoint, um, I told several people that like when you got this opportunity, I thought you were going to take the ball and run with it. You were going to shine. I've told people I felt like I was holding you back, you know, running our family car. It was, it's literally me and the boys working on our, our super late model or our pro late models out of our own shop. There's a lot of today's young racers that show up and they, they write a check to drive somebody's car every weekend. You know, I think we had the conversation that there was no way we were going to be able to do that. But we, as a family, could afford to buy some pretty decent race cars. But, you know, it was going to take a lot of work. Honestly, I, I, we made it quite easy for this guy right here. So, <laughs> yeah. That's what, that, that is oh, one man. thing. I suffered for a while. Just from everything you guys learn whenever you run through the, I guess, struggles, like you said, I was kind of just there. Learned the most I could from what Carson would talk about in the car. Once I got in the car the first time, I kind of already knew what I was supposed to be doing. When we consider the names that have been behind the wheel of this car and the drivers that have piloted it and been successful in this series, Josh Berry stands out at the top of the list, and he's done a lot of stuff, and you still got a way to go to catch him. But there's one category that you now have him topped in, titles. He has one, you now have two. Man, it's incredible that both of you have won the 2023 Car Sewer Championship in your, in your divisions. For me, it's overwhelmingly sense of pride what you boys have accomplished. Tell me a little bit about y'all season and how things went for you guys and what you guys think about being champions. Just had a good consistent season, never fell out of any of the races, completed every lap on the lead lap. We had some highs and lows on that 96 car this season, but you were solid week in and week out. Around the midpoint of the season, we started really finding speed in the car and uh, Caraway, when we switched to the other car, uh, the back of the yeah. car, we went out there and won. Kind of picked up momentum from there all the way to the end of the season at Caraway again. Travis Quapple will win the 2003 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. I can't believe it's been 20 years since I've won my NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series championship. I can't imagine what it was like. Obviously, I was I was just barely born, so <laughs> tell us a little bit about it. How you raced throughout the season was different. Man, it was down to the last laps, the last restart. Even after the race was over, the championship wasn't decided. When it was all said and done, I won the championship. Here we are 20 years later, and I got my two sons winning each a Cars Tour championship in the same season. They come out of turn number four to see the white flag. Oh, and Travis. problems with Kevin Harvick. He's into the wall. Travis Quapple you. goes by the start finish line. He shows there the caution go. and the checkered flag. And so the IWX Motor Freight Chevrolet gets its first win of 2003. One thing that was really cool this season was you went to Bristol for your first Craftsman Truck Series race, but it was 20 years ago I won that race. I wasn't worried about the truck at all. Uh, I mean, those guys, obviously, they always bring a lightning fast truck week in and week out. And uh, going into that one, I, I, it was kind of a big deal. You went in it 20 years that day, and I was I was really hoping to you know, <laughs> win it 20 years later. But uh, yeah, that was that was a pretty cool weekend. Uh, hopefully, we, I can do some more here in the future. Long way from Madison International, isn't it? It sure is. That's I mean, I want to thank everybody back home. Uh, Kevin Lash, Bruce Miller, guys that really helped me out in my race career, bought me tires, paid for my engines, uh, bought chassis parts, Jim Pearson, Butch Hanson, everybody that's helped me out, them guys, uh, this is for you. This is the only way I can pay back. you got to remember, I came from Wisconsin, you know, didn't have money, didn't have the checkbook to just, you know, hey, I'm going to go NASCAR racing. And there were so many people along the way that helped me get there. There's no way I can, you know, repay them the money or the equipment I borrowed. Or for me to go out there and succeed and win and, and win a championship, that was like the only way I could like thank them. I mean, I feel like after you saying that, almost our first uh, championship season in the Super Late model in 2021, just kind of almost the same deal. We were fortunate to be able to have the equipment and stuff by then, or most of the equipment to do it. But the people that along the way that helped us out. I mean, I, we didn't. I don't think we paid anybody that year for for coming to the track or when they'd come to the shop. Uh, I'm really proud of the the work both of you guys have put in. You know, even if it ain't in racing, I've said this before. If you you guys go down a different path in life, working hard and you know being reliable and showing up on time and putting in the work, your guys are going to be successful in anything in life.